getting ready to do a main flight of this Aeris FPV 250. Built this over the winter and finally got a nice enough day. Got several packs here. Just walk through what I've got. Um, I've got the this is the Electrify uh, 1500s. Um, these are pretty good batteries. I've had them for quite a while. And these are a little lighter, smaller. And these are the 1300 milliamp. They also have a higher discharge rate, which I think you know is definitely a good thing for when you're flying a little more aggressive. I've got my quadcopter here ready to go. And then I've got my Tyrannus, Free Sky Tyrannus radio I'm going to be using. And then I've also got my Quantum V2 goggles. So these are uh, pretty nice goggles. I've got a, it's an RC832 transmitter on it. Okay, before I get going too far, uh, I just want to show my quad a little more. I've got a run cam camera on here. And then I've got a Naze 32. I think it's a Rev 5. I've got it, you can probably see the little arrow there, I've got it oriented uh, counterclockwise, or actually I guess it'd be clockwise, and um, pretty clean build overall. I've got a low voltage buzzer right here, and then I've got the XT60 integrated right onto the PDB, which I think is kind of nice. I've, I've also got a Beck right behind that that's powering the board. Um, the ESCs are the DYS SNA20s, um, you can't see them because they're mounted in here they're direct soldered to the motor or the motors direct soldered to the ESC which is right under this tape um, I wanted to build something a little bit cleaner actually a lot cleaner my other build was uh, you can see wires everywhere I've also got the FreeSky uh, D4R2 receiver satellite receiver right here and then I've got a mini quad bros race band video transmitter um, and then this is just a left hand circular polarized antenna that I've got so this is a overall I think it's a pretty solid build and you can see that I've got velcro on the top uh, of velcro band I went ahead and tucked my balance wire underneath this just to keep it out of the way and then I've got a velcro strip on the, the top plate here as well as underneath the battery and then my XT60 connection is on the integrated uh, power distribution board and I just plug that right in all right, so the first thing you're going to do is power up your radio, and I've got a couple models here, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Aris 250 model that I have. You just hold, long hold that. And now that I've got it selected, I can go ahead and power up my quad. So we're good to go. Now I just have to arm it, and then I can. I'm going to do a line of sight test. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice. So, uh, he's got it up in the air, he's got some power, nice punch to it, he said these are the uh, uh, 45 to 90 C, so I'm just going to hover it around a little bit for the camera and get a good view of it hopefully. It's, uh, this is running base flight as well, um, base flight seems to work really good, the PIDs are tuned pretty much out of the box, or the PIDs, as we like to say. So um, I'll probably do a little bit more tuning, but I think I like, uh, like the feel of it. It feels really good. So the yaw does seem a little bit light. Might have to tune that a little bit. I like uh, normally like a higher yaw rate. So I don't know if that was caught that on camera, but I'll go ahead and yaw it around. So yeah, that's pretty slow. So normally for acro flying, you want you definitely want a little quicker than that. Okay, so hover it again. See it in action. Okay, very stable.
All right, I also have a nice feature set up on my Tyrannus where I've got the alarm buzzer so I can go ahead and flip a switch when I want to do that. It'll just beep like that. So whenever you are trying to find your quad, maybe you lost it in some tall grass, it's pretty handy to have that feature on.